I will of course assume that uh, you're watching this video because you're interested to know if your retirement in the Philippines, whether you're a Filipino, an American, or some other foreigner, would like to retire in the Philippines and want to know if Medicare will cover you for hospitalization and doctor services while in the Philippines. Uh, the short answer to that question is no. Medicare will not pay for anything outside of the United States. But I have a little known secret that I'm going to share with you. So please watch this video until the end and you will fully understand what it's about. The first thing we need to talk about is Medicare, original Medicare. The so-called original Medicare does not pay for anything outside of the United States. It's strictly in the United States. And let me go through this. Hospitalization is considered Part A. That's a Part A of your coverage. And it is free. It's paid for by the government. But it only pays 80% of the hospital cost. Same thing for physician services, Part B. But Part B you pay for. And that's 80% also of the cost. Out of pocket maximum, meaning if you keep on paying the 20%, is there a maximum you have to pay after which it stops? No, there is no limit. So if you have a $1 million bill, the combination between hospitalization and uh, uh, physician services, you'll pay $200,000. That's going to be your share. If it's $2 million, you'll pay $400,000. Prescription drugs is not included. If you want, you can buy your own policy to cover that. The coverage is entirely USA only, nothing outside of the United States. That's why you will hear them say, oh, Medicare does not pay for uh, coverage outside the United States. And it's true. Premium payable for Part B is $140 a month, but Part B must be paid before you can get any other insurance if you want to consider getting a supplemental or an advantage plan. The additional premium you have to pay is none other than this $140 and the prescription drug premium if you decide to get one. Okay. Now, who wants to have this? It's nice to have that insurance, but who, who wants it? Who, who, who wants to absorb this 20%? It's not fair. So, Let's talk about supplement. This is what you want to get if you are located in the United States. Uh, the, 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 the way it works is that the insurance company will collect the 80%. And by the way, that 80% is both the physician services and hospitalization. The 80% is paid for <clears throat> by the original Medicare and then they absorb the 20. So they're basically just insu insuring you for the 20% gap. That is what you call gap, the, the amount of money that you will have to pay because you are not fully insured. There is a gap between the uh, total cost and the insurance the, the insurance uh, reimbursement. Out of pocket maximum, there is none. Why? Because you're already 100% covered. That is the reason why you do not have an out of pocket cost. Prescription drugs, it's usually not covered, so you have to buy your own policy, which will cost you the same amount if you have the original Medicare. You pay anywhere from $28 to $50, and you will have your prescription drug coverage. The coverage, just like the original Medicare, is only USA, but I found one, Humana, that covers you outside the United States, but only limited to 90 days while you're on vacation. Okay, so that's like a vacation policy, not necessarily a worldwide policy. <clears throat> Again, the, uh, as I said, the premium will be $140 for Part B. Everybody is required to pay that. And the reason for that is they will be collecting the 80% from Medi Medicare. If you don't have the insurance for Part B, how can they collect the 80%? So you pay for that. So the total cost is about $240. It varies. It varies. But, but for example purposes, in my case, it would have been 240 plus the 140 plus the 50. It's approaching $400. Okay, that's going to be my total cost. Now let's talk about the third one. The, because the third one has a premium of 0 to 99. So they even have zero uh, premium 
uh, if I were staying in Pennsylvania, I would pay zero because I'm thinking of going to uh, Washington. Uh, I would wind up paying seventeen dollars, okay, in Washington. Now, what's the Advantage program? What does it cover? Well, for hospitalization and physician services, one hundred percent will be covered. Uh, but the, there is a plan deductible, which is usually higher than that of the supplemental. Also, the copay, uh, I'm sorry, that's the copay. The deductible is usually higher, much higher than the uh, supplemental. Supplemental, there's almost none. But then, the limit of your out of pocket cost is 3000 to 6000 a year. That's per calendar year. So if you get sick, uh, in let's say December and you, you, your bill is $4,000 and let's say your the plan you selected has a uh, out of pocket maximum of 3,000 they will you will be responsible to want for uh, to pay for the $1,000 and the insurance company will absorb the three because that is the maximum you already incurred let's say the following year you continue to be sick and you paid another 5,000 well they will deduct again the 3,000 from the 5,000 and you will be responsible for the 2,000 that three thousand dollar limit is only for the for the year for the calendar year. Prescription drugs is already included, so I will be getting my prescriptions here in the United States. Send it to my daughter; my daughter will ship it to me. Okay, and here is the big difference between the supplemental and the advantage. Supplemental will cover you in the entire United States, as if you are in your hometown. Whereas the Advantage plan will only cover you while you are being serviced in the network. And even if you're in your hometown, but you decided, ah, I don't want this doctor, and I wanted to go to another area out of the network, you will not be covered. So you have to belong to this group of doctors and hospitals. You do not have much choice. So you have to make a choice as to which doctor and which hospital you will want or to make sure that it is available in that network. All right? But the nice thing is when, when you say local network, it excludes emergency. So if let's say I want, let's say I'm living in Washington and I move and I uh, travel to New York or Connecticut, uh, that is out of network. But I am covered in case of emergency, but I'm only covered 80%. I'm still responsible for the 20%. OK, but the same thing is true even if I'm outside of the United States. So I will have coverage in the U in, in, in the Philippines if I'm in the if I'm in if I'm outside of the network. So he, here is the way I see it. By the way, this will also you will also have to pay one hundred forty dollars uh, per month uh, premium on this thing. Now. Let's talk about this. If I'm in the U.S. and I'm sickly or maybe average old man sickness, I will probably opt for supplemental. I, it will be less of a headache. I can travel anywhere. I will have the same coverage, 100% coverage. Don't have to worry about deductibles, blah, blah, blah. But I'm able to take advantage of it because I am in the U.S. Now, if you are in the Philippines, you're not able to take advantage of that benefit. Yeah, you're 100% covered, but where are you? You're in the Philippines. So, Advantage will be a better plan. But here's the drawback. While you have insurance in the U.S., you are not covered in the Philippines except for emergencies. Okay? Emergencies. So, if you have a heart attack, you got involved in an accident, you got hospitalized, you will be covered. Number one. Number two, you have to have the money. Okay? Uh, you have to pay the, the, the hospital the hospitals and the doctors first and then send the claim to the U.S. for them to reimburse you for number three, the 80%. You are responsible for the 20%. So you have some partial coverage. Well, can you afford the 20% in the Philippines? Well, most likely you can because, first of all, there is a 30% uh, a discount for seniors. Well, that's 20% discount and 12% uh, waive, waiver of uh, that value-added tax. So that's almost like 30%. You get a 30% discount. The cost of uh, hospitalization and medical services is very cheap compared to that of the US, okay? So most likely, not 
not always, but most likely you'll be able to afford it, the 20%. Okay, But you have to have 100% to pay the hospital and then go back to the U.S. and seek reimbursement. That is the secret. It took me a while to find out how I can get insured because I just want to be protected for emergencies, for any major catastrophic event. I don't want to go bankrupt. Okay, and I want to be protected in case I have like optional surgeries that need to be done but can wait I will opt to come back to the US and get it done in the US where I will get full coverage in my network otherwise I have no choice if it's an emergency then it's an emergency and then on the routine routine office visit or whatnot just pay for it yourself so you have to be prepared for those uh, it's better than none much better than none uh, you'll be protected if it's as I said if it's optional you can come back to the US and you have your, your insurance taking care of you and even while in the US you have to watch out for the uh, uh, for the out-of-pocket maximum that you will be responsible for all the deductibles that the Advantage plan has but at least you're not paying for a premium that you cannot use because you're outside of the country so I hope this uh, helped you a lot in making your decision on this matter and if you have any questions or if you have any information to share with me please put it on the comment below and uh, if you like this video please click like and share and subscribe to this video so that you will be informed of future videos. I'll see you the next time.